You guys ask for it, and you shall receive it. That's right, Broke Black Mountain style, bitches. This is me playing against the insane computer. I just want to show you guys the map. Although, the I just played this game uh, yesterday, I think, or the day before. I don't remember. I, I just got this map, and I uh, I want to try it out. This is me playing as Orc vs. Night Elf. And, of uh, course... <laughs> Insane computer. Anybody can beat an insane computer. If you can't, you you, you need to practice. Um, not uh, on battle net. Just practice against an insane computer until you get the APM up enough. But anyway, Orc vs. Night Elf. I want to slow this down so I can talk. Okay, well, look at this map. There's uh, the two spawn locations on the map. Uh, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And the look at the base locations. They're really, really close. Look at this. Look at this. And if... <laughs> I I say I think every undead is gonna go mass gargoyle. I, I'm, I'm have this peon follow this peon like an idiot. But uh, uh, every undead player is going to go for two gargoyle, two two crypt gargoyle versus versus a human or night elf. Look at this. You can these are destructible destructible rocks. You can get get them out and then creep this middle uh, or uh, red camp right here. Look on the mini map red camp. And this guy drops a badass item. Uh, later on, I'm gonna show you guys what uh, drops. And also, I'm going to show you the... No, I finally got a peon straight knot. And the shortest way to the other guy's base is really... You can go up or down. The way to go up is... Alright, follow me. If you go to your base, go here, all the way up, and go through this portal. It's going to get you out of here. Oh, but, oh no, sorry. Here. And it's going to take all the way... F uh, I'm sorry. If you go straight, straight to the base, you got to bypass this gold mine. This is a natural expansion. And go all the way to the base. And uh, follow, again, uh, the the one route is go from here, bypass the natural, through this portal, out this portal, and go bypass the, the, the other guy's natural and go straight to the base. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, well, I'm sorry. This way here. And I think almost every human is gonna creep this camp first. It's just so look at this. This elevation is really easy to defend, and you can pull six militia. Just creep this camp with Archmage real quick, and uh, that's it. And these creeps, uh, your natural, whatever you call those, they aren't uh, um, they aren't easy to creep with Archmage, especially with water Tolls. They have to be. Um, Oh, I think I got that big creep kill with a blade master pick up a uh, anchor. By, by the way, the, there are f six gold mines total on the map. There's a red camp, and uh, next to a gold mine, easier f uh, for uh, it's easier to expand later on. Um, anyway, the what was I saying? Oh yeah, the human uh, humans. If you, if they want to expand this on this map, it's, they're gonna have a have to fight a long ass distance from their men. Look at this. Look at the distance to their natural. That uh, is going to that is going to affect their strategy a little bit, and at the same time, if uh, if human I'm sorry if orc versus in the orc versus nato uh, context, uh, which is going to be game seven, this game is going to uh, I'm sorry this matchup is going to favor orc a lot. I'm talking about this wide look at this wide open engagement area. It's just going to force not off the gold dries and bears. Look at this. If you're gonna go this way, it's a big white choke, and there are taverns around the around the map. Notice these aren't trees; these just uh, uh, these are just tents you can destroy. But that just means that wisps can't hop over here. Just hop on a tree, and you can leave it alone. Not of has to get a wisp like here or something, and then and then we want to, we want a hero. You can walk the tree, uh, wisp over there, and you can build a shop over here later on. I'm gonna show you in my not of versus the world. Right now, I'm gonna de destroy these rocks. I didn't know this replay is gonna go on so long. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna show you guys what these what these guys drop. The oh god, these two freaking harpies is freaking annoying as hell. There's no way you can kill them. I know people players would just bypass them like uh, as if they're not there. But uh, it's pain ass to creep this camp. Look at this. I pull them, and as an orc, all your melee units are gonna be stuck at this, at this little choke here. So you really have to uh, macro your units correctly. I mean, Blade Master wasn't even in the creep. And look what I got. Look what I got. I got an a Infernal Stone. Yes. Whoever is going to creep this camp is going to go in the game, I think. He's going to have an inside track winning game. And it, the, if you build a building right here to keep an eye on these rocks, just like in StarCraft 2, look at my opponent's vision. He can watch over these rocks, and if you want to, uh, if you if you put wisp over here, you can watch all these all the other rocks as well. These don't do anything, by the way. These resurrection stones, you cannot get your heroes back for the, that way. I know orc campaign, you can, 
um, in the ore campaign you can, but uh, these just there to they, to take space instead of uh, instead of being destructible. You can build stuff here. I see what I use map artifact. I build a tower here, so they're gonna push me. Uh, he's gonna push me. I said uh, they're gonna run straight into a tower and have to fight me uphill. This is why I think the humans is going to benefit a lot just by taking advantage of high ground. All right, enough about this uh, spawn locations. We're gonna look around the map. I showed you these gateways, uh, gateway here and here. It's funny how in gateway in StarCraft Two, these they're Protoss production buildings. Anyway, the shops. There are two shops on the map, which means they're going to have a lot of uh, what do you call? Uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, <laughs> just once you destroy these rocks, that's like a freaking floodgates. You open pretty much open the floodgate to uh, to the Nato base, um, ba back on Nato base, uh, or, or the other base. And that's why uh, I think a lot of pe pe uh, players are gonna tower. At least, if not tower, at least will at least get some burrows. A lot of burrows over here, just to um, just to make sure you have defensive position. And if you want to be aggressive, you cannot afford to block this off. You, if you want to later on, if you want to do a, a all ground strategy, or if you do a, some kind of timing after creeping this red camp here, you have to have the, this place open, and you have to keep scouting your opponent's base just to make sure he didn't block his base off. Um, a lot of people like it, uh, despite the name uh, Broke Rat Mountain. <laughs> I know we are so mature about it. And uh, look around the map. We're gonna see. We have Zeppelin. He, uh, my computer opponent is gonna hire one here. Uh, these, Ze um, so Zeppelin. Uh, I'm sorry. Two Goblin Laboratories are gonna provide a lot of Zeppelins. We're gonna see some Zeppelin micro if this, if this game, uh, if this map gets ever picked up by Blizzard. Uh, or right now it's only Star Wars Six map, but um, whatever. I'm going to put the link uh, at the video description so you guys can download it and play, check it out yourself. Goblin Merchant, um, like I said, two of them on the ground, uh, on the uh, ground, on the map for two-player map. That's going to be that means a lot of potion less, less than abilities, maybe more potion invis invisibilities. Now, right now, I'm expanding as the orc. Notice, uh, if if your opponent is going to push your natural, the only way ca they can push you is right through here, th through this choke. Yeah. That's why I build a burrow over here, so uh, my PM can evacuate it here and have this as in the as a uh, buffer. Uh, the only way they push your expansion through here, there's no way they're going to push it like over here or something. There's another way to the opponent's base. So just watch. If you go the other way, if you're go not going to go through gonna through go the here and through all the across here and you're gonna get attacked by these creeps if you're not careful you have to hug this uh, edge of the water and these rocks these creeps are absolutely attacking if you go this way and that's a that's kind of a back way you can wedge yourself uh, right here in between the expansion and the uh, opponent's main but anyway this is the other gold mine on your side of the map and he is going to drop a really nice item I got a I would I got a um, anchor reincarnation from him last time when I creep jacked my opponent Oh, computers are so easy to creep jacks, not even funny. <laughs> that just makes it so unfair. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna kill this guy here. Uh, I don't think. Oh, how are you gonna stun me again? God damn it. Alright, let's see what I got. It's gonna be a mana stone. Nice. That's, I think that's the same drop as uh, as on the Secret Valley, those two uh, red guys. And now my Nautilus uh, uh, opponent is gonna push me. Uh, and he's gonna run in, head into a tower first. That's where I that tower bought me a lot of time. Look at this. That mountain giant uh, is not is not even uphill yet. Now my blade master is gonna be in the mix, just to make sure to pick up a try it first. And then my blade master try is he gonna pick up? No. Nope. Okay. The only uh, reason I make this video is to show you guys the map before I commentate and do any commentaries on it. Maybe I won't even upload this video. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, see how awkward this is for uh, for opponent to attack you from here. And if they want to attack you from here, it's even more awkward because if they're going to be stuck on this choke or this choke, or they're going to get your forces separated by this tree here. So it's a really defensive map. I really think undead and human is going to have a big advantage on this map because human because of the towers, undead is because they are one base strategies. And orc, of course, uh, it's a little big for orc. I'm not going to lie to you. And, uh, and uh, orc has to pick your like 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 not the way I do it. If you're a uh, pro orc, you have to pick your battles um, correctly. Like, do not engage not off in small chokes like this. Good thing I have air units, so my damage damage per second didn't suffer because I'm picking a choke to fight a not elf. Anyway, I'm going to uh, uh, just end this video here. Um, of course, I, who loses to the same computer, really? 
Um, he's an expand, and I'm going to. Ex uh, I expanded way earlier than him, so I'm I'm completely rigid base. So easy, my play master about to be level seven. Um, a little thing. Yeah, there's some. Okay, there's another thing I can actually going to show you in my next game when I play as Night Elf. There, hang on, hang on, don't go anywhere, Jesus. Ah, uh, you patient, you patient people. Um, when I play as Night Elf, yeah, look at the loading screen. There you go, Jake, Jake Hall and Heath Ledger. There you go. All right. Um, as an, as a Night Elf, oh, well, as anybody, you can tower creep those um, those hoppers. What you, uh, harpies, harpers. <laughs> well, I watched too too many uh, two and a half men. But uh, what do you do is to uh, get out get all these trees um, uh, out of the way, and then you can start building towers like here or burrows here, um, or you can have your heroes attack these. Uh, harpies and just bring them and yeah. just take them all the way into your base and ensnare them or something. There's, there's a creative way so you don't have to creep these birds like right there, like right on the low ground. So another possibility uh, for uh, er, er, for people. Uh, this time I'm playing the Night Elf. <laughs> God, who picks Torn Chieftains against Night Elf? Only computers. And now I'm demonstrating how you can build a shop right there as Night Elf. So you can ha access, have the access of the tavern 24-7, except, except a lot. Uh, every time you want to buy stuff, you have to get all the way here. Yeah, I'm doing the DOS build. I just want to try it out. Because this map is screams for Dragons and Bears build from Night Elf. But I just want to try if I can... If the dots build is kind is uh, violent, valid or not? See what I, what I meant? This is the back way to to the other player's base. I I, I got attacked. I got ensnared too. That's kind of annoying. Um, but anyway, uh, for a night elf, if they go for dots because they are all ranged, which means they they have to fight like two uphills to get to the other guy's base. Which uh, that just means you're gonna have you're gonna have to have you're gonna eat up a melee damage in the front. Uh, by the raiders and grounds, and you have to you have that uh, missing percentage from from, up, from uh, fighting uphill, so that's no good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna creep here. Where's my tinker? Where, where, uh, I don't have him yet. Um, am I gonna get a tinker here? Come on, come on! Not enough money. I got enough money to do it. Come on! Oh, now cyclones online. I think there we go. Um, anyway, there's a tinker. Where the head? Oh, I got it from his yeah, his side of the. Uh, his side of the tavern. Okay, and I think um, this. There's a why maybe uh, this creep. Uh, I'm talking about these creeps here. You can unit creep these with three grounds, no problem. Uh, all the grounds are gonna suffer some damage, but uh, uh, when you when you orc, you you, you go uh, harass with the level two blade master or something. Oh god, I lost my beast master to to computer. How how that happen? Oh, the burrow sniped it. Oh god. I didn't even see that burrow. This is another thing. Uh, you, you had to watch out for these freaking hidden towers, like here or uh, some somewhere. Or otherwise, you can suffer the thing I did. Whatever I happened to me. And and the demolishers are going to be really useful against the uh, against dots on this map. And uh, yeah, the pocket factories are going to have to walk a little bit. Not it's not going to be a problem. Uh, is Demon Hunter going to die here? Nope. I'm going to TP out of here. I should have popped this score of healing, but uh, I feel like. Uh, I feel like extract those dots before uh, without ex except uh, getting them out. Also, I'm on Sokka's Mumo mana. More dots. Uh, anyway, it's really hard for Night Elf to creep this map if you go for dots. By by the way, look at these creeps. This this guy has uh, endurance aura and he has a, a stomp, and and he has, he has resurrection. That's so one thing. And these creeps, they all have medium armors, which means the dots are not going to do as much damage against them. And these pricks, oh my god, they have Vampiric Aura and they can summon skeletons. Uh, what do you call the raise, raise, raise the Dead thing? Um, so that's no good either. See, uh, I just realized the dots aren't, aren't the best build on this map as Night Elf. Look at this. <laughs> you can't do jack. You have to fight uphill constantly if you want to be aggressive. Uh, oh, how do you not kill that? Okay, there we go. Stop that Tinker home. And uh, yeah, I think that covers it. Um, only only at night you, you don't get ensnared uh, if you have uh, your rally points uh, go the other way. Alright, let's follow this thought. He's not gonna go through the gateway, but uh, he's gonna go through like right here, this long ass way around to my opponent's base. Which means that just makes the map a lot bigger than it looks like because 
If you look at the spawn distance, it's really, really long, but uh, uh, really short, but it's deceivingly short. And I like what c the computer did. Put a burrow right here. So if any anybody is attacking these rocks, you can just put a few peons in here just to get some free shots in. And uh, yeah, that's my 10 cents, I think. Or did I? Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna show you how to creep this thing. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna practically kill everybody, and I'm gonna start creeping. Okay, that's right. I just realized that like like when I start creeping, I just realized this is freaking impossible to creep with the map with dots. Jesus, it's, it's gonna take you so much longer than than the orc. Orc is gonna have uh, they're gonna they, all, all they can do is uh, save this camp here, ensnare one of the acolytes, and just pull back, and everybody's gonna chase you, and you go surrounded with the raiders and grounds. So it's just really easy, like that, like this camp here. Ensnare one of these ar uh, archers or sorcerers, whatever you call these pricks, and you can just uh, pull them back, surround them, and just make make sure they won't go they don't go anywhere. And yeah, also these pricks cast a um, uh, uh, curse, but uh, what, whatever. Yeah, this is the creeps are guarding this uh, goblin laboratory, and this guy has an item. So the a blade master can poten potentially come come over here and solo creep this and get away with it. Oh, at least I think you need a level two blade master or level one blade master with uh, what do you call with a circle of booty. Um, yeah, I'm just checking his uh, expos blading. Uh, this is a dick move to do when you uh, play against a computer because the computer don't know what how to do, how to deal with that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna create this camp here. I think? Question mark? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, the guy's gonna respawn and he's gonna stun all my dots. Jesus. Okay. What did I get from him anyway? Did I get a cost? What? Nope. 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 No. What, what did I get? Oh, it's a healing word. Okay. And anchor, incarn anchor reincarnation is from the other guy. Now I'm gonna try to creep this with dots. This is fucking impossible. Look at this. I think I lost my demon hunter to this. Uh, my demon hunter tried to get out. I, th I think I used my beast master to stop the demon hunter, but demon didn't work. I and I think I died right before I killed the creep. Uh, <laughs> or we died the same time or something. And th look, this time instead of infernal stone, I grabbed a, a score of resurrection. And there's one dot corpse here somewhere I can't remember but uh, anyway I sh I didn't get it I didn't get him back um, it's not worth it to use the, to burn this to get one dot back I can just sell it and get one dot and still have some money left over um, so it's not worth it okay I'm gonna push into orc base or I rape all the burrows from the my computer opponent it's not gonna be um, not gonna be a problem there you go he's gonna get completely raped you see how awkward this is if you have dots see the uh, how awkward this battle is yeah, your pocket factory is in the front line, and your dots has to be in these, uh, just, uh, asking to be shockwave position. Uh, I, I'm gonna lose my beast master. What, what in the hell, dude? Oh, I, I don't think I even wasn't paying attention at this point. And my demon hunter just run around like a freaking chicken with a head cut off. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys, uh, get a whole gra grasp on this map. If you want this uh, map, just download it and play, uh, I mean, yeah, it's easier to just download and play yourself, and yeah, and I'll move on to fly versus soccer on this map for game seven. They're playing for.